Welcome back to our tech and daughters and by now you should know that some of my favorite inexpensive uh, under $25 um, lights that I put on my uh, rifles uh, and, and AR handguard builds and AK build hand handgun builds are from Monstrum usually a hundred lumen lights I don't really require more than that on a weapons light and there's a reason why and we'll go into this video so this one has already been out um Emmett has been playing with it so basically this goes attaches to a picatinny rail it is um you can have a push button like this which is uh probably going to keep on here and it takes um that's part of the thing but this is the type of battery it takes. I think it's a 123 or something like that. Anyway, so that's the battery that it takes. Here's the ring. Here's a little pressure button. Pretty simple to install. It is a just a flashlight. It's not an old light. I don't like old lights. Um, and I'll give you a little story why. One, I think they're overpriced old lights. Um, two, they're made in China. Three, did I put that in wrong? I guess I did. Three, um, they only want you to uh, shield for them if they think they can make a dollar off of you, which is uh, pretty, just a lot of bullshit to me. Um, I asked them when I had 800 subscribers, would they like to um, sponsor the channel? Uh, and not even once did they respond to me or they gave some bull crap answer like, uh, Oh, well, we got enough um, sponsors or blah, blah, blah. You don't have enough memberships. It was a bullshit thing because I can't even get my damn light to work now. Look at that. I've done did a military arms channel. I managed to broke, break something that worked pro properly. So when all else fails, and I was going to do this, I was going to change this out. So obviously it has something to do with this pressure switch here, right? Let's see. So we'll leave it turned on. We'll stick it in here where it's supposed to go. And then screw it. Okay, there we go. Let's see if it stays on. Works again. See that goes. Oh, now you're gonna see why I like these lights. <laughs> Obviously, I was able to. Let's see here. This is funny. Oh no, I've managed to break it. So there's some type of of um, issue here in the. The off on switch. Of course, yes, I can't put it that way because then it would just come off. See, it would fall out. So it has to go that way. So obviously, I've either lost a piece somewhere, maybe, or we're going to do what I originally want to do is um, use the pressure sensor. So here's the pressure sensor that comes with it. Since I, now I'm not gonna blame this on uh, Monstrum because it worked until it fell it fell out and that was my fault. So I was gonna put the pressure 
the pressure switch on it anyway. Well, how am I going to put that on there? Well, guess what? That doesn't screw on there. So I guess I'll have to use that somehow. I don't think they thought this one through. So let's see here. Oh, yeah, it does slide all the way through there. So there we go. Now we learned something. Let's see if the pressure sensor does the same thing as the button switch. All right. So we got it on there. Let's get her all tightened up. So it does have the end cap here. Where you can use the pressure switch here where it goes to or the or I mean the button switch or the pressure switch so let's see what happens here hopefully when i hit the button he'll come on there we go and you're asking me why i'm using the green light so let's put this to the side because i wasn't going to use it anyway and then maybe i'll figure out what's wrong with it so let's see here it didn't work before I took it apart, so that's my fault. So anyway, why do I like the green light? Well, I got one of their green lights and realized that uh, I can shine. Like right now, I got two lights on. I got the phone the phone lights on, plus I got an overhead light with three halogen bulbs in it um, on. And I can hit the button, and I can see that. That's 100 lumens of green. And green doesn't affect your uh, night sight as much as a uh, white light does. Red would be better. But also, though, if you're running a red laser, you can still see it with the green light. So, anyway. This is going to go on a, on another project uh, um, rifle I got. It's a 22. It's going to be a um, uh, my new squirrel gun. And we'll check it out later on. And so I like Monstrum's uh, lights. They're in effect. They're, they're inexpensive. They're good quality, and and they've always worked pretty good for me, except for that one switch that I broke. But anyway, if you like Monstrum stuff, and if you think Monstrum should sponsor my channel, <laughs> hint hint, I buy a lot of stuff from you guys. So anyway, um, I've had good luck with their stuff, with their scopes, their LPVs, their red dots, their, especially their little inexpensive weapon flights, which I love them to death, and they're great. And so check them out if you want to. Please like and share and subscribe to the channel. If you want to be a channel member, it's low as 99 cents a month. That helps the channel out. If you'd like to be a, uh, if you'd like to get a channel logo patch, then a $20 ship. Just send me an email and I'll tell you how to get one. If you hear that, that's the washing machine draining again. I'm doing laundry and videos. Got to multitask when you're single father. We appreciate you guys and gals watching the channel. We'll catch you next time. Remember, it costs nothing to be kind to one another. In this day and age, we need a lot of kindness because the Democrats are, are very lost. So, anyway, we'll catch you next time.